Hey guys, this is Jeff here. I ah, thought we'd open this together. My second, probably final, box of Allure. We'll see. We'll see what we get. I might get some more. Um, really, really like Allure uh, for a first year product for Upper Deck. I think they hit it out of the park as far as I'm concerned. Uh, absolutely nailed it. Um, I'm not actually a really big Upper Deck fan when it comes to cards, and I kind of wish they didn't have the exclusive NHL license, but it is the way it is. Uh, like, I'm not wishing that uh, Tops had more, but uh, I don't know. Might be cool to see what Panini could do with this. But that doesn't matter. Let's open this up, shall we? Let's get this open. Oh, that's, that, was already, that little sticker was already there. Let's just let's do this. We'll just, we'll just cut that like that or not. Oh, yeah, we did. All right. Let's open or not. It's playing hard to get, guys. Playing really hard to get. All right. Why are you not opening? All right, there we go. It was a little picky the first time, too, I believe, when I opened these. So I've opened one of these hobby boxes, and I've opened uh, one retail box. And that's definitely the best way to, you know, like, nail down your uh, uh, how much uh, base you're going to get. So here's the packs. The uh, hobby box packs have red on the background and the retail ones have blue so if you end up opening one of these and it's blue and it doesn't say hobby on it like they do here uh up at the top there um then uh somebody's screwed around with your box so hopefully that hasn't happened to you but let's open these up i forget what are we guaranteed here does it say i can't remember i think you're guaranteed two or three hits or something i forget now but let's see I, what was in my first one? Let's look at them really quick. Yes, I know. I'm dragging this out. Sorry, guys. Uh, those are artifacts. That yeah, was something else. I got this. This was my hit there, Erasmus, Erasmus Sandin. Um, not even game used, I don't think, which is sort of disappointing. And I believe I got an autograph of some guy that apparently isn't uh, really a big deal. So, anyway, that's the way it is. So, oh, all right. We start off. Pretty big there. Connor McDavid right on top there. Then we have a Guillaume uh, Brisboy. 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 Uh, Allure Top 50 of Alexander Texier. Let me see if I can... Uh, I got to do this every time, and I apologize for this, guys. I'm going to try and get this thing to... To... Uh, Focus better. See, now I can read that on the screen. That's pretty good. Nico Rantanen, and that's a white rainbow. Actually, I'll put that off to the side. And then we have a Ryan O'Reilly and a Ryan Poling. So, those were all of those are basic except for the top 50. I'm going to set that off to the side too. All right. I love these cards. Uh, they do have a little bit of a bend, so they do the same thing apparently like OPG uh, Platinum does. But I really like these these cards. They look really nice, and they feel good. They, I just, yeah, I I can't uh, I can't complain at all. All right, let's get this next one open. This was a problem too that some of the people had when they were opening these. They didn't want to open. All right, we have. Alex DeBrincat, Jimmy Schultz, Carl Grundstrom, and that is a short print thing or something. I forget now. I forget what they call that, but it's a high number one, so it's got that different border on it. So that gets to go over here too. And then we've got a white rainbow of Connor McDavid. Nice. Don't have one of those yet. Sweet. All right. And we have a Noah Dobson and Max Jones. This is a pretty rookie heavy. Uh, uh, thing too so like the last oh yeah like more than half of the cards we've already pulled are all rookie cards so um, if that's your thing there's lots of rookies in this uh, rookies aren't a huge deal to me I mean they're they're important but uh, I just like the cards I like the cards uh, Tuvo Teravainen uh, Dante Fabro 
And him again has a top 50. Okay. Then we've got, ooh, what is this? This is a green quartz 40 of 99 of Eric Carlson. Ooh, that looks really good. That's nice and shiny there. Ooh, that's nice. We'll put that in there. Rasmus send in. And Zach Sension. All right. Well, that's one of the hits that they count. So we'll see what else we can get. All right. We got John Tavares, Patrick Kane. Of course, we're doing this now with the hockey season delayed as well, which is unfortunate. It looks like all the game, uh, the team stuff has uh, been delayed. Uh, Sports stuff has really been put on the back burner, which is too bad, but I understand it. Vitaly Abramov. And we got an open ice. Open ice of Alex DeBrincat. I like those cards, even though it's like, you know, oh, there's like, there's two hits in here. Okay. It's uh, it's clear. But I think they're really cool looking cards. So I'm going to put that right there. And then we've got a red rainbow of Nathan McKinnon. Nice. All right. And then finally, we have a Mark Giordano. Now, I don't know if that red one counts towards the total number. I can't, like I said, I can't remember. It's been so long since I opened the original round of Allure. Um, and I knew it all then, but I don't now. And their box certainly doesn't say it. So, all right, we got something thick here. So, how am I going to do this? Let's do it like this. Okay. All right, just moved it to the back. We've got Cody Glass. All right. Carey Price. Nico Rantanen. Victor Olison. I've got an autograph of his. Nice. Top 50. And there's our patch, or well, I guess that's just a jersey hit, of Max Varanu. Var Varanu. Varanu. I'm hoping there's a patch auto in here because I'm not really excited about these. These cards, and this one's not really the <laughs> not really one I'm looking for either, to be honest. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad to have it, but uh, let's see. It's going to have to be something really amazing for me to even consider buying another round of these. I might get some more retail just to finish out my set, but we'll see. We'll see. No decisions made yet. Tyler Sagan, Mad Dumba, Dumba, ooh. That's like the, the pink thingamajig parallel of the rare guys, things, Rem Pit. Like, I have no idea who that is, but it's a rookie, and it's one of those, so that's pretty cool. Um, running out of spots, but these. All right. Then we got, ooh. All right, yeah, this is our other hit, unfortunately. It's an orange slice uh, one in, uh, out of 199 of uh, Drew Doughty. Uh, not, not terrible, but uh, not really what I was looking for. I hope there's an auto. If there's not an auto, I'm... Hmm. Taro Jose and Jordan Bennington. Love my goalies. That's good. Definitely, if you want hits, though, this you want to go for the hobby. He costs more, but uh, definitely uh, you don't get a base pack, typically. Uh, and you get ton, you get tons of them with uh, retail, which which makes sense. Well, I got to say, Tops does a better job of retail, I think, uh, with baseball. But anyway, Joe Pavelski, Austin Matthews, there he is. Top 50, Ryan Kuffner. And then we got a red rainbow of Kale Fleury. And Alex Took. Steve Stamkos, I like that guy. He's pretty cool. Last pack, guys. Last pack. This one does feel a little thicker. That's because there's something thick in it. So let's try not to... These actually stand up pretty good, these cards. So let's move the that one forward. Is that the... All right, it's at the bottom now. All right, Oliver Wallstrom. Capo Caco. What a name. Gotta love it. Claude Giroux from Hearst, Ontario. Pretty cool. Oh, we got a winter storm. Allure. A winter storm warning of Anders Lee. Very cool. 
And, ooh, okay. Uh, we got a Jimmy Schultz rookie. Uh, wow. Allure, um, not a patch, but a, uh, a, a jersey auto. Congratulations, you've received a trading card with hockey memorabilia that features an autograph of Jimmy Schultz. The memorabilia has been certified to the Upper Deck Company as having been worn by the featured player. An autograph was signed in the presence of Representative UDC or provided and certified as to its authenticity by Jimmy Schultz. Wow. Okay. Well, it's been worn. It doesn't mean it's been worn in a game, but hey, that's really cool. And that's a good looking card. And it's out of 99. So that's pretty neat. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. Especially after the, the last one. The last one was not good. So like this is the, the patch from the last one there. It's a red one, but it's not even numbered. So, um, all right. Well, shoot, man. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, that's that. Uh, I think we did all right. We did all right, guys. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, really happy with Allure. I got to tell you if, you, if if you want a good set, it's not a huge set. It's not a huge set. It's a lot of parallels. Um, I mean, if you want, if you want some cool looking cards, I mean, look at these. They're, they're beautiful. Um, I can't, I can't tell it enough. I know they just released a SP authentic, uh, game used or SP game used or whatever. I'd buy this over SP game used anytime. The problem with SP game used is you never know what you're, you don't know what you're going to get and you only get so many, you only get, I mean, it's about the same cost as this, but you don't know what you're going to get out of it. Like you, you don't know if you're going to hit somebody you like, and I'm not a person that has time to sell stuff off so I can buy more of this stuff. So it's, um. It means a lot to me that I can get a relatively good variety of cards and of stuff uh, of, of players that I'm interested in um, and get a lot of cool looking cards. I don't know. I'm, I'm very happy with this product. I, I can't recommend it enough. Uh, definitely recommend you checking it out. And uh, yeah, that's it for me today, guys. Hey, stay good. Be safe. Don't get sick. Do your the washing hands and all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.